Okay, and as a summary for this lecture, to go over some major points, I um, want you guys to realize that there is a huge array of different specialities within the earth scientists. Everything from geography to geology, water scientists, ecologists, biologists, and everything in between. All of these subdisciplines need to have a basic to a very good understanding of various subjects that are not in their speciality because all of these sciences interact with each other. I think I've stressed that point uh, quite a bit. Um, when we are studying science, when we're coming up with new uh, innovations in science, it's important that we use critical thinking and we uh, use the scientific method to achieve this. The scientific method is those six steps that are on that slide. I recommend you guys go back to that slide and check out the examples that were posted. And finally, there are many opportunities in industry, in uh, federal agencies, um, oil companies, uh, all over the place for people to make a career from studying earth science. If you have any interest in doing anything like that, please find somebody that has experience in it, uh, somebody at your school. Uh, if you are taking this class at Georgia Southern, then I would be available for you and try to explore that option. I found it to be very rewarding for me, as have many people out there. So that's it for this lecture, and please move on to the next one.